So in the last tutorial we saw how to create these uh, watertight surfaces shown here in yellow to allow us to uh, survey the volumes of the lower portion and the upper portion of this box. Uh, we did that by uh, creating an assembly and then inserting uh, a new part uh, which we then uh, copied the internal surfaces of the box into uh, before sewing uh, a surface onto the top uh, to close close it off and then uh, get some volume figures from that. So the volume figures that we got are currently stored in this Mass Properties 1 feature and Mass Properties 2 feature. So Mass Properties 1 uh, relates to this lower portion of the box and Mass Properties 2 relates to this upper portion of the box. Now the only value that's stored in uh, either of these prop either of these uh, features if we just go and have a look at the feature is the volume. So we're uh, surveying the volume of a set of uh, watertight surfaces there. Now what the uh, uh, design brief for the uh, assignment uh, asks for is that the uh, v total volume of the box is used to uh, optimize the geometry of the box. So currently we don't actually have a value for the uh, total volume of the box. We have the two individual values, the uh, lower portion and the uh, upper portion. So what this tutorial is going to show you how to do is uh, create that new value and then store it in a location that will allow you to use it in uh, an optimization or feasibility study. So if we just have a quick look at the feasibility study so here we go, we've got feasibility selected. When you add a design constraint currently the only two options that pop up there are these two mass properties features uh, and it's the volume uh, values within the mass properties features that's what the colon there represents. Uh, there's only one uh, value which is stored in each feature and that value is the volume. Uh, so if we want to create uh, a sum of these two volumes and have it available in this drop down menu then we're going to have to store that value inside one of these features itself because the uh, feasibility study will only recognize mass properties features. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. The first thing that you're going to need to do to create a, a new value is uh, open the parameters uh, toolbar here. And uh, parameters, uh, you have certain default parameters uh, for assemblies and parts. Uh, the default ones for this assembly are a description which is uh, a, a string type, uh, it's not numerical you can enter a description of the part uh, and then a modelled by parameter uh, in which you'd put your, uh, your details if you were the uh, primary person that had modelled the uh, part or the assembly. But what we're going to do, we're going to uh, add a parameter which is uh, numerical so that we can uh, use it to calculate the uh, total volume. But we don't want to store it at the assembly level. We want to store it inside this Mass Properties 1 feature. So we can do that by, instead of having uh, assembly as selected, if you select Feature, and then what it's asking is uh, select a feature to access user-defined parameters. So we want to select this feature. And immediately uh, the window switches to a different view here. So it's showing you all the values stored within that mass properties feature. So currently there's only one value. It's the volume of the lower portion of the box. But we can add a new value in there. So if you go to add parameter and we get a new parameter that pops up here. So let's give this a reasonably descriptive name. This is going to be total volume and then we can OK that. So now what we've got hidden inside this mass properties feature 
is we've got the original value, which is the volume of the lower box, and we've got an empty value currently, uh, which is our new total volume. So now that we've got that, we can go into relations and we can uh, build a formula now that will put a value in the, the empty parameter. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, identify that parameter. And the easiest way to do that, you could uh, you could use uh, various methods to uh, to figure out the name of it that the system had given it. But there's a really easy way of doing it, which is just insert from list, and we we're inserting something which is stored within a feature. So again, we need to look in feature. It's saying which feature. We stored it in this feature, and then it gives us the option: Do you want to uh, reference the total volume or the original volume value? We want to reference the total volume, so you go insert selected, and there it is. So now what we want to do is we want to say that value needs to equal the sum of the other two volumes. So again, we can use the insert from list. We want to look in a specific feature for this value. It's in there, and it's this original volume value that we want to insert. And then we want to do the sum of adding these two together, so we put uh, an addition sign. And again, insert from list. We want to look in a specific feature. We, now we want to look in mass properties 2, and there's only one value in there, so that's the one that we want to insert. So what we've done there is we've uh, identified our new value that we've called total volume so there's its name there's a colon there and then there's an FID that's feature ID 43 so you can see that mass properties 1 is known by the system as feature 43 so it's uniquely identified where that total volume uh, figure is stored and then again it's done the same thing with the uh, original volume figure and again it's stored in feature 43 because it comes from mass properties 1 uh, and then with the second value it's stored in feature 44 which is logical because we created the mass properties 2 feature directly after we created the mass properties 1 feature so it's going to add these two together and then it's going to store the value in this total volume 1 so that's fine, we can OK that. And if we just press Regenerate, just to check that it's calculated that, and then we can right click on here and go to Info Feature, and we can see that this has now been populated with an actual figure. Now we can check that, we can uh, write this figure down, and then we can go into Math Properties 2 and survey that one, write that one down do the sum ourselves and then just check that it's it's got the right figure there uh, but that is the right figure uh, having already done this uh, it has come out with the uh, right figure there so what we can do now is we can run a feasibility study and we can base the feasibility study on the total volume figure because if we go to add constraint the total volume is available in here. So we can set that to whatever we need to set it at and we can run a feasibility study based on that uh, that new parameter. So that's how you uh, create a new parameter to store the uh, total volume of the lower and the upper and how you uh, store that parameter, where you store it in order to make it available uh, for an analysis, for a feasibility or optimization study. Uh, so that's the end of this tutorial.